Hey guys, and welcome back to Peck Pong, where I talk about matches that I play and uh, things that I do to try to get better, as well as some information stuff. So today we have a match between me and uh, this guy whose name is Kai Zhang. He's pretty good. He beat uh, Koki Niwa. Yes, Koki Niwa in 2019. Uh, so he's, he's pretty good. Um, and I got the opportunity to play him not once, but twice in the same tournament because uh, I had him in my group stage and then somehow the bracket worked out that I was uh, playing him again in the semifinals. So uh, pretty cool that I can play him twice. And uh, yeah, anytime I get a chance to play against good players, I'm always pretty aware of the opportunity I get to see what they do that's a little bit different or that's uh, a little bit sharper than what other people do. So let's just go right into the match and uh, let's talk about his playing style. He's a Chinese kind of style player. He plays uh, both forehand and backhand, pretty quick with the backhand, and he has a really big forehand. Uh, I'd say he's very offensive, uh, meaning he's not too concerned about missing here or there. He's more concerned about uh, being the aggressor in the point. Um, that's, that's just my observation when I played him. Um, maybe he has a different strategy against other players, but from what I noticed, he seems to be doing that against most people. All right, so <clears throat> some things that I noticed that he does really well are that he is a little bit quicker onto each ball, like on the short balls or forehand loops and backhand loops. He's, he's usually taking it a bit quicker. Um, and that kind of gives me less time to react and uh, less time to make good placements and hit less strong shots. So it's pretty good. And then the second thing that I really noticed that was really different was that he has a really good uh, deep cut to my backhand. I think this is a pretty, I guess, Chinese thing is that they have this ability to move in and out very quickly. And then they also have an amazing deep cut to the backhand corner. Um, just because um, when you play against people, that's kind of like the weak part of the body is being able to move out to the backhand side. So he has a really good cut there. <clears throat> uh, some things that I did when I played him uh, that were working. And these were things like my backhand serve. Um, when I was trying to... If I just did like the same serve over and over, he seemed to get pretty comfortable with it. But when I kind of had each individual serve planned out and um, kind of having good variation with the serves, um, he would start to not be able to think out the points as well. And he played more reactive, which gave me a chance to be pretty proactive when I played uh, the point because I already knew kind of what I was looking for. So that was kind of where I was winning the points. And I feel like moving forward, I need to do more of that. Um, just kind of the variation of my serves needs to be better. And then also the plan of what I'm supposed to be doing after the serve uh, should be a little bit more well thought out as opposed to just serving and, and seeing what they do. It should be more kind of pin, um, pinning them to do a certain thing because of the variation that I uh, have. So, <clears throat> yeah, that was kind of the thing that I felt was the most successful. And also the same thing goes for when I was receiving his serve. If I was giving him the same, same receives every time, uh, he was very comfortable. So sometimes doing a little bit different flipping to his middle or to his forehand or sometimes wide to his backhand, uh, cutting short all over the table was usually pretty successful. And then also sometimes cutting long. So definitely, I mean, I feel like I say it a lot, but I feel like the variation is what really separates, uh, you know, good players from not so good players is that you can have good variation and uh, just kind of be on top of the opponent mentally if you can always remember what you're doing. And yeah, also when I was attacking to his middle or flipping his serves to his middle, this was a big thing that was really helping me to win a lot of points. And let's say moving forward, because uh, 
I don't usually get a chance to play against players uh, of his caliber. So it's kind of nice to see where I'm really deficient um, in, and, and that kind of helps me move forward. So uh, definitely moving in faster because he, he was very quick on the ball, like I said. So just gaining the ability to serve and get into my ready position a little bit quicker and then also get nice and low so that I can uh, move in quicker. Because I think I have a tendency to kind of serve and kind of stand up, up a little bit, which can be a little bit slower when you're trying to move in and out because your weight is up high and you're trying to move in and then your weight goes backwards. And <clears throat> another thing I could work on would be receiving against flip. Uh, just being ready to receive flip, like having my racket up high after I serve because I feel like I've gotten into a comfort of just waiting for my opponents to push because I've gotten used to people pushing against me. So just having my racket up nice and high and getting ready for them to flip. Um, and then if, if it does come short or underspin, then I can always adjust and uh, lift the ball. And, yeah, just overall placement of the ball. Um, if I could learn how to place the ball a little bit better, um, I feel like I'd win a lot more points because sometimes I feel like I just go directly to my opponent. So definitely hitting their middle and then trying to go wide or going wide right away is, is definitely a good idea. And, yeah, I mean, I don't think I have too much more on, on this match. Uh, like I said, he was uh, a lot of fun to play against, and it's always cool when you can make a great player uh, try, because sometimes you play against good players and they don't feel like they need to even try against you. But when I played him, I felt like he was not afraid of me enough, but like he felt like he had to give um, more of a high-level game to play against me. So that was pretty fun. And... Overall, I think uh, as great of a player as he is, I got to spend uh, the week coaching uh, at the Samson Dubina Table Tennis Academy with him. And I think overall, he's just like a really nice guy and uh, an awesome player. So, yeah, enjoy the rest of the match. Uh, that's all I have to really say. And I will be back soon with some more stuff, hopefully uh, very soon. Yeah. All right, see you guys.
Congratulations to Kai for winning our second semifinal match. Up momentarily on two.